Hey there, how are you? So last week, if you remember correctly, last week I read a story, The Grumpy Monkey, um, and Jim Panzee, here he is, if you remember, Jim Panzee was just, he was grumpy. And if you remember, Aunt Allie said that I had a day and I was feeling pretty grumpy um, last week. And we found out at the end of the story that it was okay to have a grumpy day. Um, and I told you in that video that I already knew what book I was going to read this week because it was between the Grumpy Monkey book and the book that I am going to read today um, for last week. So I, I pushed it off and I'm going to read it today, but I am happy to report that today was a pretty terrific day in my world. So um, I can't say that I'm having the same kind of day as our character in our book this week but I'm going to read it anyway because it is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite books to read out loud um, to kids, to anybody who will listen. So this week, Aunt Allie's story time is bringing you Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And it is by Judith Viorst. And I just love this book. This is just such a good, good book. And I hope if you haven't heard the story already, you enjoy it. And I hope if you have heard the story, you enjoy hearing me tell it to you. So let's start off about finding out and find out why Alexander is just not in a good, good mood. And here he is. This is our buddy Alexander. Does he look happy? Not really, right? I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And here's our picture. There's his, his shirt, his sweater in the sink and the skateboard he stepped on and his hair is looking a mess. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. So there are him and his brothers having breakfast and he's moving to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. He is really not having a good day, is he? Poor Alexander. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little 
coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. He's looking pretty grumpy. He could be Jim Pansy's best friend. And that's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. You hear my puppies having a play date? And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and she scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody, no one even answered. Nobody is really caring that Alexander is not having a very good day. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, oh, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. It's just not his day. Things are not going well for Alexander. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. But I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was as careful as I could be, except for my elbows. He said, don't fool around with his phone. I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Dad doesn't look happy, does he? There were lima beans for dinner and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. Oh, can it get any worse? My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went right down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. I like those pajamas. I think they're pretty cute. Yeah, what do you think? When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out. tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says days, there are some days that are like that. even in Australia. So even though Alexander had a bad day and he said, you know what, I'm moving to Australia, his mom says, you know what, Alexander, you're gonna have bad days. And some of those bad days are gonna happen no matter where you are. So much like Aunt Allie had a very bad day last Tuesday, this week it's been a good day. And I'm happy for that. So my can't, I can't say that I had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I had a very good day today. It started off with a fantastic, terrific Tuesday video where my, my little nephew Jagger said to me that he hoped I had a terrific Tuesday and that I didn't have a bad day. And that, that made me real happy. And I said, you know what? 
I'm not going to have a bad day today. And I didn't, I didn't have a bad day. Um, I already know what story I'm going to read next week. And um, for those of you who are watching uh, the videos, um, I'm going to give you just a little bit of a heads up. Um, so Jagger and his daddy Bennett are quite awesome artists. Um, and in fact, one of his daddy's paintings hangs in my spare bedroom, my exercise room upstairs. Um, and Jagger and his daddy have collaborated, have worked together on some paintings as well. So the story that I am going to read next week is all about the day the crayons quit. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, I am going to wish you a sweet dreams, sleep tight, peaceful slumbers, and I will see you next week.